Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Yes Perfusen and on this channel here we are talking about skincare, hair care and uh, all those sort of things that is uh, supposed to make you look uh, better for a longer time or younger for longer and that sort of thing. So basically uh, this channel here is about all the things you can do in order to make your skin look really uh, nice uh, into old age basically. So um, just to say that um, at the moment I am 47. So uh, today we are going to talk a, a little bit about uh, hyaluronic acid as in the sense that uh, we have heard a lot about hyaluronic acid uh, over the years and that is usually something that you put on your face like in a serum or, or something like that. But uh, there is actually something else you can do and uh, recently uh, there is uh, some uh, studies that have come up with uh, that uh, if you're using something like a uh, glycine and leucine which are two amino acids then uh, you can uh, boost uh, the uh, production in your body of uh, hyaluronic acid. So uh, today we're going to talk a, a little bit uh, about that and uh, what I am uh, doing and how much I'm taking of uh, those uh, amino acids in order to uh, help my skin staying uh, as plump as uh, it can. It it might be possible to have it even more plump in some years time when I find out of some other stuff but uh, at the moment I am uh, really happy with uh, using uh, the amino acid uh, glycine and, uh, and leucine. So the thing is that uh, you might have heard about a uh, placenta and uh, that is something that we all eat when we are really really uh, small and uh, that, um, there is really no way around it even if you don't like it you, you have to eat it because it goes on in uh, your mother's uh, tummy so uh, yes it is uh, the stuff that you live on for these uh, nine months and uh, there is actually uh, something in there and that is uh, a dipeptide or several dipeptides and uh, it turns out that uh, a lot of them is uh, basically made up of a uh, glycine and a uh, leucine so uh, they have a uh, leucine glycine and glycine leucine and there is a leucine uh, leucine and uh, the thing is that uh, in the studies that I will uh, link to in the uh, description box so you can read it for yourself it actually shows that uh, some of these um, the peptides they are very uh, important for uh, hyaluronic acid but they are also important for other things in the body and that is basically something to do with uh, keeping your muscles uh, in a very good uh, condition so obviously is it so that uh, when you are uh, a baby or a fetus I think it's called then uh, you need to grow very very uh, rapidly because uh, you basically only have about nine months to do it before you are delivered uh, some people do it a little bit uh, shorter but um, usually it will be about uh, nine months so uh, it makes sense that it will be something in there that uh, in the placenta that we live off that uh, will really make uh, your body like uh, really grow very fast so uh, the thing is of course that uh, as you get older then uh, suddenly your body does well it doesn't uh, after the year of but when you are 30 years of age then uh, your body really doesn't grow anymore that is kind of like uh, the uh, the top of your growth so from there on it's about keeping um, your body in the best condition as possible and uh, that kind of like makes sense to go in and take a glycine and a leucine so uh, what they have uh, found out in these uh, articles is basically that uh, if you are taking uh, glycine and leucine then uh, you can uh, produce more uh, hyaluronic acid in your body. And there is also something else that happens and that is, uh, that is something called uh, elastase and uh, that is something that is um, actually breaking down elastin. And uh, you might have heard about uh, elastin when you go out shopping for lotions and potions and uh, all that sort of things. So uh, that is basically something that is uh, keeping a good elasticity and uh, bouncing is, uh, to the skin so you would like to have uh, a lot of that uh, going on basically and uh, one thing that uh, these um, amino acids uh, are doing is actually that they are making sure that uh, elastase is uh, not uh, being produced that much off and that means that um, the less you have of it uh, the less uh, elastin will be uh, broken down so that is a, a pretty good thing and the thing is that uh, as we get older we actually have a less and less uh, glycine in our body and leucine as well and uh, that basically means that uh, when we have less of that then we will have more of uh, elastase and uh, that will break down uh, elastin so we would like to really kind of like uh, stem the tide of malice from uh, elastase so uh, there is uh, another thing and that is uh, when I'm talking about uh, muscles then uh, there is something called the mTOR C1 and uh, that is basically a, a protein complex and uh, in the body that needs to be stimulated in order to um, make sure that your muscles are in a good condition and they stay uh, at a certain level. So you might have noticed that uh, when you get older then uh, your muscles will start to, um, they're, they're not as 
large as they used to be and uh, that is basically because um, when you have less uh, leucine and glycine in your body then uh, you will start to feel uh, the effect of that by that your muscles are not um, that strong anymore and you can like uh, are wasting away basically so uh, there is actually a lot of uh, research going on uh, in the sense that uh, what can one do if you would like to make sure that uh, all these sort of uh, wasting conditions that uh, can happen and that could be uh, in relation to cancer and it could be uh, in relation to all sort of uh, things that goes on in the body where your muscles are basically uh, wasting away. So what they realize is that uh, there is obviously something called a leucine and uh, there will be uh, a lot of bodybuilders and they will know a lot about uh, leucine. So uh, leucine, that is a, a branch chain amino acid and um, it is said to be uh, the king uh, among those ones and uh, what it means is that uh, that is uh, the really the one that really is uh, boosting this um, complex and uh, so the M2C1 uh, complex in order to um, create more muscles uh, in uh, the body but also you need to kind of like uh, use your body in order to make the body think that it needs to build up more muscle mass. There is just a, a little thing and that is that uh, if your body is uh, wasting then uh, you might think that well I should just take a little bit of uh, leucine but uh, that means that um, it it will not really work that well and uh, we don't really maybe know why that is but uh, one thing is that if you are taking it together with glycine then suddenly your body will start to uh, respond again and uh, your muscles will start to be built up again. So uh, the thing is basically that uh, some studies have shown that uh, if you are making a situation where you're, the, the muscles are being broken down and you're taking a leucine then actually not that much happens but if you pre-treat the muscle tissue with the glycine before you take a leucine then uh, you will see a, a stimulation of this uh, M2C1 and uh, that means that uh, you start to have uh, muscles being uh, built up uh, in your body again so that is obviously something you would like to have happening uh, in your body as uh, you get older but usually when you see old people then um, they might be uh, a little bit frail and that sort of thing. I mean, we're talking about really old people, of course. But uh, the thing is that what will happen if you don't take a glycine and leucine is that basically your muscles will uh, over time start to waste away and your skin will become saggy and all that uh, sort of thing. And that is obviously not uh, that great. So how much uh, am I actually taking uh, of these things here? Well, I am taking glycine and I've spoken about glycine before. I've actually made uh, several videos uh, about it. And uh, it kind of like, it looks like this. It's kind of like, a, it looks like sugar and it tastes like sugar, but it's not sugar. And uh, I take, at the moment, uh, I've, oftentimes I've said to people that, uh, I make a video and then I show how much I'm taking at that point in time and then uh, usually I will say that uh, I might start to experiment with taking a little bit more because uh, w what can happen really. Obviously there is uh, things that you can just, just take more and more and more of a certain thing. You need to kind of like be sure what you are, are doing. But uh, what I'm doing at the moment is that I have this spoon here and uh, that is, it contains five milliliter. So I take three of those in the morning and I take two kind of like midday and I take three in the evening. And uh, that is what I've been doing at the moment. And I will say that maybe if you take it uh, on an empty stomach, it can be maybe a little bit uh, about uh, a rush to the bathroom at some point. It's not that nice. But uh, I would say usually if you just kind of like take it to even on an empty stomach uh, in a bottle of water, then uh, it's not uh, an issue. But if you take a little bit more than that on an empty stomach, it can be a sort of uh, an issue. So what I basically do is that I take uh, the three spoons in the morning in my um, for my spray or the uh, what's this sort of yogurt called uh, total and um, it kind of like uh, tastes sort of sweet like um, a cantaloupe melon basically. And then I take uh, the leucine and I have not been taking leucine for a very long time. I mean, I've had uh, branch chain amino acid uh, in, in, um, in a bag here in the cupboard for a long, long time. And the thing is that uh, it tastes absolutely uh, awful. And uh, the thing is that when I realized that maybe I could just take a uh, lotion because that is uh, the best uh, of them, then uh, I thought, okay, uh, let's give it a go and then uh, try and take that. And um, I then uh, bought uh, again and have have nothing to do with this uh, company whatsoever. Um, but it's very easy to sort of like buy it from there. And uh, this is, uh, you can see it's a uh, lotion. And uh, I take um, two uh, of those a similar scoop this one uh, in the morning I take it to in the uh, evening and um, 
it it really is i mean it, it's it's trying to 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 drink it because it tastes um, like sulfur basically or uh, methyl or something like that uh, a little bit like uh, if you are having sort of like um, uh, a sanitizer on your hands so this sort of gel thing and then you kind of like uh, somehow get your fingers up to your mouth and a little bit later you kind of like mm, take your tongue out and you get this ew sort of taste and it's kind of like similar to that and I think it's um I think it's these uh, material uh, groups that are on this that taste like that. I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. It, based on, like the, it tastes absolutely uh, awful. So kind of like a good idea to camouflage it somehow. But the thing is that, yes, you can put it into some sort of a uh, fruit juice or something like that. But that is just that little thing that, yes, I do like fruit juices and that sort of thing. But I also know that I should not be drinking it every day. So I don't really want to base my diet on having a, a drink of um, a juice uh, every day, like orange juice or something like that. Because then you get a, a lot of fructose in your body. And that is a, not a good idea. So... Um, Yes, uh, I'm saying I use this uh, in the, the yogurt uh, in the morning as well, in the fromage fry, which is not a yogurt, but it's a fromage fry. And uh, that means there is a lot more uh, protein in it than uh, there would be in a regular, just normal standard uh, yogurt. And uh, that's the whole point about a uh, fromage fry and this sort of a uh, two tailor thing you can buy in the supermarket. And uh, therefore, I just uh, mix that stuff in together with all the other amino acids I'm taking. But today we're just talking about uh, the leucine and we're talking about the, uh, the glycine. So what have I noticed uh, for that period that I've been taking these things? Well, I've been taking the glycine for a long time, really. But uh, Lozen, I've just recently started. So that will be maybe for about three weeks time. And I will say that uh, in that time, I feel that uh, even that I have uh, taken more glycine in that period as well. Then uh, this uh, lotion, I would say, really sort of like made my skin a lot more uh, bouncy and uh, that sort of thing, more like... Um, particularly I would say around the, the eye area up here. It's kind of like uh, what um, when I look in the mirror, I'm always like a little bit afraid that the older I get, I will kind of like get this sort of um, not just sagging skin under my eyes, but more like um, a hollowing effect around the eyes. And I really would like to uh, avoid that best possible or for as long as possible, really. And uh, I will say that uh, it's kind of like it feels like it sort of uh, plumps up that a little bit more than what it was and it, it was not that I had sort of like a hollow looking eyes or that sort of thing it wasn't like that but it's just like when you look at your face every day you notice these very small uh, differences that that happen if you are taking um, a new supplement or something like that or sometimes often here I knew that lotion would do something for my uh, collagen and would do something for the muscle tissue and that sort of thing and uh, usually when I try various things or come up with an idea as to if something is going on because I've been eating something uh, like a, a supplement then it usually is that I'm taking a supplement and then I realize something is happening and then I go back and see could that be it and then you can look into scholarly articles and they will tell you yes basically it's true what you have uh, noticed where sometimes if you're eating something and you uh, want to have an effect then you kind of like can maybe convince yourself that yes there is an effect but uh, I will say yeah, but these things here I mean definitely the, the way the body works then it actually is so that if you're taking glycine and leucine together then uh, you will really boost uh, the uh, production of uh, muscle mass in your body and apparently also uh, you will boost the um, amount of hyaluronic acid uh, in your skin and you really uh, would like that because uh, that is a part of what keeps your skin uh, plump and uh, really looking uh, rather youthful. So uh, basically uh, the point here is that uh, if you would like to do something for uh, your skin then uh, it is uh, worth uh, looking into a leucine and a glycine and just to say that uh, when they were testing a uh, leucine and leucine then uh, they found out that uh, it did not really have uh, the same effect as uh, the uh, dipeptide uh, leucine and glycine and uh, it didn't matter if in which way they were combined so uh, basically what happens is that uh, when you are eating uh, amino acids just like uh, as in this case here just like a single one then uh, it would just uh, go into your system and uh, into your uh, bloodstream but uh, when you're eating um, a protein then uh, it will be uh, chopped up because a protein is basically uh, a long string of uh, amino acids so uh, they will be uh, chopped up and uh, then uh, there will be a single amino acid that will be taken up uh, into your body but uh, here we are actually talking about uh, a placenta and uh, when you're having a placenta and you have uh, dipeptides in it and what they found out was that a lot of the dipeptides uh, in the uh, placenta was uh, either leucine and glycine or glycine leucine or uh, leucine leucine. Then it is so that uh, my understanding is that uh, when you are 
eating as a, a fetus uh, in your mother's womb, then uh, it would actually be going from the placenta directly via the, the bloodstream into your body. So that means that uh, the uh, deep peptides will not be uh, chopped up in your um, digestive uh, tract. So, uh, and that is uh, what happens when you are eating a food. Uh, but uh, that is not uh, really the way it works when you are in your mother's womb. And uh, therefore, there could be a little bit of a difference as to how it actually works when you are um, feeding off a, a placenta. Because uh, you can take a placenta supplements, and uh, they also tested uh, placenta supplements in this study here. And uh, apparently that was uh, a lot better because you get uh, a lot more of uh, other things as, as well and nutrients uh, from, from that. And it, if you're just taking these uh, depeptides and um, there uh, again if you are eating it then uh, the uh, depeptides they will be uh, chopped up into a uh, single uh, amino acids and uh, therefore there might be a little bit of a difference compared to how it works when you are getting it from a placenta when you are a fetus and uh, then uh, when you are eating a placenta or a depeptide uh, as a an adult basically so uh, therefore uh, there could be uh, a little bit of uh, some sort of a difference but uh, what they found out was that uh, though uh, leucine leucine the dipeptide is uh, plentiful in the placenta then uh, they did not see that it had the same effect as uh, glycine and leucine um, had uh, on uh, hyaluronic acid and uh, elastin and uh, that sort of thing and um, I think the whole idea is that uh, you need a uh, leucine uh, in your diet and you need a uh, glycine and uh, if you're just taking a leucine, then it might have a little bit of an effect, but you need a glycine in order to have a, a really, really um, good effect uh, from it. So, uh, yes, of course, uh, it is uh, about uh, keeping your muscles and uh, your body in a good shape as possible uh, as you get older. And there, I would definitely say that something like glycine and leucine, that uh, would be uh, a must. And I can say, uh, some of you might know that I have mentioned before, that uh, my husband he has a mutonic dystrophy, and that is basically a condition that is a breaking down a uh, muscle tissue uh, over the years and uh, that is why I'm very keen in order to find something that is uh, working for muscles and uh, keep muscles in a good condition and uh, definitely I would say that uh, just over these maybe I say three to four weeks that we have uh, been adding a uh, lotion together with the, the glycine I think that I've seen uh, a difference in uh, the way that he's uh, able to, to walk a little bit faster and a little bit more stable and uh, that sort of thing and I th would say that his skin looks a little bit more youthful uh, but actually I would say it actually looks a lot more youthful than uh, what I would have uh, expected so I would say that it has uh, been uh, really good so if you have a uh, mutant dystrophy uh, maybe uh, something like um, leucine and then glycine that is something that you should uh, be uh, looking uh, into and uh, yes, uh, that is uh, how we are uh, dealing with the uh, with the condition. And I would say that is um, a really um, something that's been rather helpful. So yes, if you'd like to see uh, more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell, and do all those things in between, order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.